In December 2006, uh, Frederick Gies created a solo called Dance Praticable. After he had created it, he wrote it down as a score and uh, distributed it for free via his website. And here's how a page from the score looks like. Okay. There. And he encouraged other dancers to compose their own interpretations from this score. And the dancers were instructed to use the method of uh, body practice while uh, interpreting his score and uh, staging their versions. So, rather than using a somewhat uh, old fashioned method of a show copy model where a uh, choreographer shows a movement phrase to the dancer that the dancer then copies. Uh, Frederick Gies' approach is based on embodiment or body practice. And body practice is not so much a technique but a uh, bodily experience where one is giving attention to inner bodily changes and movement. And this method is used by the dancers in the project in order for the choreography to appear. These bodily states that become the choreography do not build up a specific movement vocabulary and they are not styles belonging to a certain choreographer. Friedrich Gies does not uh, create a movement phrase that belongs to him that he then passes on to the dancers but the dancers, the interpreters, become the origin of their own styles, so they become their own authors. Even though Friedrich Gies uh, skillfully challenges the notion of authorship uh, within the choreographic field, he, via his uh, score, uh, comfortably maintains his own presence and authorship in all the versions of dance particular to come. So it's still a piece by Friedrich Gies. All the different dancers use Gies' single originating creation as their starting point and therefore he stands as a co-author of each piece. And what I point out here is that Gies doesn't position himself within this process of rearticulation. But he tends to propose himself as an authentic body that is the source of origin, that again stands before the, um, the structure of reiteration. The dance does not leave the original choreographer, it will come back to the single original again and again. And a different approach to the procedure of uh, choreography can be seen in the project uh, 12 Instructions from 2008 by Martin Spangberg. He posted a series of instructions on YouTube for the project's three dancers to use in order to form a presentation, a workshop or a performance. Hello everybody, it's nice to see you all today, so let's have some fun together. What will follow is a series of instructions to form a presentation, a workshop, or perhaps a performance. Some of the instructions refer strongly to the body, others to speech, reflection, or the production of choreography. It is a series of instructions that you naturally interpret as you desire. There are evidently no rights or wrongs, only the possibility of change in our view of what our practice can be. Order relates to license, like uh, 007, he is given license to kill, but how sad, that's the only thing he has license to do. Instructions instead refer to permission. The following instructions is intended as a permission to act differently. Whatever comes out 
is always of importance as long as it ex expands the opportunities for you to act. This is the first instruction in a series of 12. They will all be available on YouTube, on Inpexness to begin with. From now on, one, of, one by one will appear uh, consecutively. You can follow the instructions in whatever way you want, but it's preferable that you choose an address before you start the work, one after the other, in the order of appearance, scramble them, any approach is a good one, as long as it's yours. First instruction, look at the video with the following address. During three and a half minutes, without moving, create a 90 seconds long choreography, your version of your Rain Rainer's five easy pieces, or the segment of five easy pieces, as seen in the video. Then dance the choreography whilst video recording it. Don't dance it again. This is a dance that you do only once. Upload the video on YouTube with the title Five Easy Pieces Redux, and then your name. All right, uh, Martin uh, Spangberg in 2008. Uh, Spangberg acts here as a coach, setting the act of repetition in motion while giving the dancers the possibility of expressing themselves through dance. He acknowledges reiteration at the center of choreographic organization, and he does not claim his own authorship in the act of choreography, but gives the dancers a variety of instructions that they are not encouraged to simply follow, but to use. Or as uh, Spangberg says himself, his approach does not involve a notion of license, but that of permission. When the produced uh, material is performed, it does not have to refer back to its initiator. Spangberg establishes a foundation from where the dancers unreservedly can act differently. The dancers can use this foundation to choreograph themselves by rearranging the instructions in any way they prefer. He creates the platform for performative employment of quotations while rupturing the presence of an originating intention. <laughs> 